In this demonstration, I'm just going to show you some simple ways to adjust and customize your page layout in ArcMap. When you first add data layers to your map or open ArcMap, you'll more than likely be presented with the data view. So the first thing to do is to select the layout view. And this is uh, the default layout view that you should see. It's an 8.5 by 11 sheet uh, paper in the portrait um, orientation. Now, often, not it's not required by any means, but often we want to change that to a, a landscape orientation. So I can right-click on the page outside of the data frame and select Page and Print Setup. This should bring up a printer setup based on whatever default printer you have in your computer. Uh, one option that I like to do is to switch that to Adobe PDF if you happen to have it. The only reason being then is that the rest of the settings are not restricted by the settings of your own printer because an Adobe PDF can be any size and can be black and white or color. This is not required. Don't worry about it if you don't have it, but it's just something that's nice to do if you have the option. So here we have the paper size is letter. I'm going to change the orientation to landscape. I'll allow the map page size to stay uh, attached to the user uh, use printer pager paper settings, sorry, and click OK. So now I've got uh, a landscape orientation, but my data frame has not been adjusted to match that. So uh, what I like to do is to select the data frame, right click on it, and select properties. If you go to the size and position tab, uh, on the left side, it says position in X and Y, and uh, below that it says anchor point. And what this is doing is you're setting the position of the data frame relative to the edge of the sheet of paper. So if I, for example, wanted to have a margin of a half an inch around my sheet of paper outside of the data frame, I can set my X and Y to half an inch. Whoops. And we'll do the other one. Okay, so that will give me an offset of half an inch from the lower left corner of the sheet of paper. Then, because my width is uh, in landscape now and the sheet of paper is 11 inches, if I take off a half inch on either side, that gives me a 10 inch data frame in width. And since it's eight and a half inches high, if I take an inch off of that for the half inch on either side, that's seven and a half. There, so now we have the settings for our size and position. And just before I close this, another thing that uh, can come in handy is if you go to the frame tab, you'll notice that by default, this data frame has a border that's black. Now, if my map is going to take up the entire page, this can also double as the neat line for the map. It depends on how you set up your map as to whether that's something you want or not. So I pointed out that you can either uh, remove this by setting the color to no color, or you can keep it there and decide whether you want to change the, uh, the size of it. I'm going to leave it for now the way it is. So I'll click OK. And now I have uh, set my page to uh, landscape and I have the data frame set with a half inch margin around all sides. So this is uh, very useful for setting it up. But you'll notice that when I do this, the map scale hasn't been adjusted. Uh, what you might want to do then is adjust the map scale so that the map fills the page. And there's two, two different ways you can do this. If you want, you can just select the full extent, and that will show you the full extent of the data that you've loaded into ArcMap. But you'll notice that there, there's still this inner margin around my data. So don't necessarily go with that as the default. It's much better to choose one that you actually want. So uh, for example, if I wanted to focus on, in this case, the Toronto City Wards, I can right click on that layer in the table of contents and say zoom to layer. And so now I've got the subject of my map, wards, filling up most of the data frame. If you look at the map scale, it's now 1 to 182,222. So another suggestion for good map design is to set that to a nice round number. Uh, this will be better if you're showing the scale as a representative fraction on your map, but even if it's a scale bar, it, you'll end up with something that's a much nicer round number. So for example, I could choose to set this to 180,000. And you'll notice that it doesn't have a big effect visually on the map, which is fine, but I now have a nice round number. Or I could have uh, chosen one to 200,000. You'd have to play with that and decide for your particular map 
what works best. But this is a nice uh, place to start from so that you've got uh, the page layout the way you want with your data frame and a map scale that hopefully will be useful for your project.